And on the ninth day, God looked down upon his people and saw that they needed a companion. So God created a dog. God saw that his people needed someone to wake them up and kiss them, pee on a tree, sleep all day, wake up again, and give them more kisses. Someone who could wait patiently for a whole day, even when they were alone. The people needed someone to cuddle on the couch and watch their favorite soap opera with in the evenings, and then give them more kisses. So God created a dog. God saw they needed someone strong enough to pull sleds, yet gentle enough to love babies and lead the blind. Somebody who could spend all day on a couch, resting their head and supportive eyes on man's to lift the spirits of a broken heart. Without judging, without complaining. So God created a dog. Someone who could face people with boundless joy when they returned home even if they'd been gone just five minutes. It had to be somebody who would remain patient and loyal even through loneliness. And then, without complaining, they could wear silly hats so people could take cute pictures. The people needed someone who could brave all weather, all the while fetching sticks. Someone that did not care what man did for a living and loved them unconditionally. So God, created a dog. God said that the people needed someone to bark, then enthusiastically wag their tail after their very best friend told them it's time to take a ride in the car. People needed someone to cuddle, hug, kiss, and go out on long walks with. So God created a dog.